Hey y'all everyone, Shell Joker here, and welcome to the bonus episode of Let's Play Fire Emblem. In the last episode, we uh, defeated the dragon, saving all of Alib and restoring peace to it. In this episode, I'm going to discuss any bonus topics... Or just anything I wanted to talk about in the main series, but I either forgot to talk about, or just didn't come up. Starting off, fortunately I don't have any footage to show for our first bonus topic today, but the ending. I did not mention the finale because, well the ending happened there, but there are actually two separate versions for the ending. They are based entirely off Elwood supports. You get it, the ending that I got if you were, like me, a good boy who decided to get Elwood and Ninian in A rank support. If you did not, however, the ending changes ever so slightly as to having. Ninian leave with Nils to go back to the world of the dragons. Get your own graphic for that. Of course, I can't show it because I, I, I don't have footage. Personally, not only do I really like Elo and Ninian supports being the main reason I got them to the A rank, I also prefer the ending. That you get if you do have them get in A rank support. So that's why I decided to get them in A rank support. As for our next bonus topic. The next thing I want to show are some special boss conversations. But since um, I could only really find a few... There's not a video for for some reason about just all the special boss conversations in this game. We're just got to sell for the ones I do know about. Which mainly involve Nurgle. But first we have Guy vs. Yuhai. And the only reason I really know they have a special boss conversation is it popped up in my YouTube recommended one day. Oh, so you're from Secret 2 oh. I am Guy the, of the Kutola. Tula, the actual Dayton's tribe. They're said to be the strongest in the place. But you're still a child. Do you fight like one? No. Then sure. Come. Next up, we have the Lords, barring Ellawood, of course, because I showed that in the main playthrough, versus Nurgle. Little girl from Sake, do well to vanish. Such as you is no match for me. The nomads of the plains do not abandon their fellow tribes people. Ellawood and Hector are my dear friends. Their sorrow is my sorrow. Their anger is my anger. Pa! Nurgle! My friend's names, I will cut you down. Nurgle! I cannot understand you, Hector of Ossitia. Why would you do all of this for Ellen? Is this miserable thing called friendship worth dying? I don't expect you to understand. Gun, you forgot what you have to take to be human. Nurgle, my connection to you is over. Finishing up everything. Right here. Nurgle. Heh <laughs> Ethos, take a good look at me. At my tremendous power. Already, words are useless. As an old friend, I will fulfill my duty. 
Next up are the support conversations. I didn't show or just chains that I started but didn't finish. Here, once you beat the game for the first time, you unlock a menu where you can view support conversations. Only ones you've gotten while playing the main campaign though, this isn't a way to cheat it. If you do truly want to 100% this game, have to play through with getting every potential support relationship up to an A rank. And I did get Raven and Priscilla to a C rank in my main playthrough. I also got them to an A rank here. But I am going to show the chain with Raven and Lucius's A rank first. Because that was the one I was intended to do. I'm honestly surprised I never actually got this in a playthrough. Anyway, I'll be back. How are you of late? No fits, I assume. None at all. I'm quite well. Sorry to be a worry to you. Lord Elwood, Lord Hector, Lady Lynn, all have been very kind to me. I've never been in better health. I see. Good to hear. Lucius, there is something I ask you. What, my lord? Uther, Lord of Ost Ostia, Horse Cornwell down went down, killed my parents. Do you believe this to be true? I know the Marquess was killed by someone. There can be no mistaking that. But as to whether it was the Lord of Ostia. I have no- I have my doubts. Yes, I was so distraught at the time. I believe the rumors without question, without doubt. I truly did not care whether the Lord of Ostia was guilty or not. I merely wanted to find a victim for the rage inside me. That I can understand. And you were right there all along. I should have tried to understand. Lord Raymond? Meeting Elwood really opened my eyes. I know that the Marquess of Ostia is not behind the attack now. Someday. Yes, someday when this war is over, we'll go searching for the truth. And I'll pay Ostia back for my suspicions and more. Excellent. Except, I want you to stay home. What? You are too cruel. Why? I want someone to go home to, you see. So go back and wait. Why don't you marry? Then there would be someone at home. I could journey with you. I need no bride to jabber at me. There's enough jabbering going on around here already. What is that supposed to mean? My case in point. Wait! Wait! Lord Raymond! As much as I said I do want to show off the supports that I, uh... Changed and I wasn't able to finish. I, 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 I kind of just changed my mind. I really just want to show Raven and Lucius. Because that was the one... A support that I was trying to show that I actually got, at the very least, the C-Rank. I was trying to get Matthew and Oswin, but due to Oswin being an armor knight and Matthew being a thief, 
Most of the time, it just wouldn't be efficient for them to be near each other on the map. So for that reason... Also, I, I've never bothered to get Nidian support with anyone other than Ella Wood. That we're done with supports. Next up, the last thing I want to show here today... ...are the differences in Hector mode. Just out of me wanting to show the, this off because I... I really like how this team came out. I'm gonna brag about the team that I got here. Cause, oh, everyone here is so freaking good. E except Lugal, Lugal's kind of okay. That's only cause he got strength screwed. That's it, really. But why am I here in Hector mode? Well, there are two units exclusive to Hector mode. Varina, who in this file of Hector mode, I actually used to the end, wasn't intentional. I was planning on using one of the pre-promoted paladins just since I wanted to give them a shot since I, I used Marcus in the past and he kind of sucked. A lot of people say Marcus can carry you to the end. No, he cannot. I'm sorry. But Varina turned out very good, but how is she in terms of actual statistics? Varina here, I'm gonna be completely honest. I think she's a high contender for potential best unit in the game. She's got flying mobility, pretty solid bases. And good growth in HP, strength, spill, speed, and skill. At least I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. He's fantastic. Ugh, I guess wish he wasn't in Hector mode because honestly, she. It's high debate. Like, ugh, I'm not sure who's. I say statistically that Marina is probably the best Falcon Knight, but um, my Florina in this this run because yeah, I use Florina as well, and my Fior in the actual LP turned out really good. There are honestly the only real problem is you have to pay a shit ton of gold for her, but she's so good. I'd say it's worth it. Now let's see, where is she? Carla. She's the other unit unique to Hector mode. Let's talk about her. Overall, Carla just on her own isn't uh, unit turns into a very bad unit given her super late join time, and I mean she joins with she joins with barely better vi viability in terms of no, not viability. It, it, she she gains. She's able to participate in one more chapter than Renault. That's it. In that chapter, technically not even because the side quest chapter where you get her is the freaking shopping chapter. So. Technically, she has the same availability as Renault. So like she has a very poor strength growth. Uh, with a very poor base in it. Like, she has, like, some good growth, but... The most obscene thing about her, Whether you get her or not, is entirely focused on your barter. In Hector mode exclusively, once again, you must have a level 5 warrior barter or above in order to get her. And it's weird since she's a green unit and she fights you, then she joins. And honestly, as much as my barter has become fantastic this playthrough like he's got surprisingly good skill and speed for a warrior
Why he? But she's just not worth it. I like training up Bar in Hector mode simply because he's the only character. No, no, it's because I like getting every character. And to be honest, I like Barter in terms of just how he is as a unit a lot more than most people. But if you don't want to use Barter for Barter, you only want to use him for Carla, he's just not worth using. No. Carol got like a level or two in this playthrough because he so he was my late pre-promote that became a team member this playthrough. And he's still way better than her. There's no reason you should really use Carla. But that's it for this let's play. I think I want to thank each and Actually, wait, no, before I do the outro, there's one really weird thing about this game that I want to mention. So I've mentioned how, at the very least, in the, um, the European, uh, translation, at one point in the story, the, the, uh, map scenes, one of them just comes the Spanish translation for some reason. And then... But later on, you know the end scene which was building up to Binding Blade? That doesn't exist in the European version, like, it doesn't make sense? But anyway, th this has been Shadow Joker. This has been my Let's Play of Fire Emblem. It's great to have played one of my favorite games of all time for the channel. I'll see you guys next time. For whatever's next. I don't want to give away what's the next Let's Play on the channel. So I'll see you guys next time. For whatever that is.